Hi guys, so we know that voting for Brexit, unless you're a Tory party donor or have money invested in Ireland or some offshore bank account, I'm looking at a certain right honourable gentleman from the 1800s here. Anyway, if you aren't one of those people, Brexit is like turkeys voting for Christmas. Well, to stick with turkeys, it looks like them and more generally Christmas itself may be impacted by Brexit. According to some in the industry, it looks like because of a shortage of lorry drivers, which I've covered before on this channel, along with meat processing plants, the vegetable and fruit picking and packers, food prices could rise by about 5% this autumn. Turkeys and pigs and blankets could face a shortage at Christmas time also. The Food and Drinks Federation has said that there is a war on to find workers. The short-term solution for the industry is to pay heavy goods vehicle drivers and logistics drivers more money. This may be wonderful news for those at the lower end of the pay scale, but it will have to be paid for somewhere and it looks likely to be passed on to the consumer. Tony Godger from the Association of Independent Meat Suppliers said a shortage of staff in the meat processing industry means firms are paying at least 10% more for staff than they did before the pandemic. Those costs have to be passed on, he said. But it isn't just a shortage of workers at meat processing plants. Due to the new Brexit red tape following Great Britain leaving the single market and the customs union, there has been a lack of available vets to sign off on certificates needed for export. While there is a problem finding heavy goods vehicle drivers in general, specific ones with the accreditation to transport live animals is even more difficult, something fundamentally important to the meat industry. According to those working in meat processing, it is missing a fifth of the necessary workers, while some plants are operating with only half their normal staff. The fresh fruit industry has said that it is about 5,000 pickers short this year as well. As the meat industry focuses on prep for products that can be sold immediately, the necessary work needed for products like pigs and blankets and stuffing has been postponed in many cases, all due to lower numbers of workers being available. A spokesman for the industry said, and I quote, Those Christmas lines are unlikely to be made, so we will be likely not to have them when it comes to December. At the moment, the seasonal workers scheme doesn't include butchers. The industry is asking government to extend it to that group also, so the turkeys can be processed for Christmas. EU workers generally arrive in the UK in mid-October for the prep for December, but many would not be able to do that under the current regime. Brexit is also wreaking havoc on other parts of the economy. From the NHS to hospitality and retail, a shortage of workers is putting already strained systems under greater pressure. Boris Johnson's government continues to sit on its hands. Yes, it has held meetings with representatives from pretty much every industry affected, but there seems to be little in the way of real movement. Ending freedom of movement, which was one of the cornerstones of Brexit, is having a real impact. But the Tories having a massive majority on the back of Brexit are afraid to touch the issue. As talks with the government continue, retailers and suppliers are warning of food and drink shortages towards the end of the year. For the summer, it seems things have been managed, as there is a shift away from the best-selling brands to more generic ones. It's important to remember who is talking about the shortages. Those who are in the industry, not Remainers or Ramoners. The experts on the ground say that choice is starting to dry up. Brexit has forced industry to adapt. In the short term, there will be shortages and a lack of choice. Some industries will be transformed. Others will, of course, wither and die. We may see higher wages for so-called unskilled employment, but the cost will be passed on to the consumer. We will see packed supermarket shelves, but they will no longer be the brands that people love. You may get your fruit and vegetables, but they will no longer be as fresh as you had hoped. Brexit is not for Christmas, it seems. It's for life, and the consequences are being piled on for ideological reasons. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. 
so why not check it out?